Ha ha! Sports fans! <laughs> uh, we're back. Yeah, cool. uh, this is the finals um, at the Long Beach, California regional event. Um, they're trying to find a. <laughs> What's up? Sponsored by Yeah. Dude, I was just saying, like, I want some of those licorice. <laughs> yeah, can I have some? Oh, it's awesome! Dude, licorice! Dude, I just finagled my way into some licorice. <laughs> Dude, that's hella rad. Yeah, dude. Hopefully you can finagle your way into us commentating some VGC. I'll try. I mean, I'm pretty smooth. So we're going to get the flip going. Um, and it's heads. I'm not sure um, who's deciding what, seeing as how we don't have a... We don't have these guys mic'd up. We should no. get these mic. We should get mics for these guys. <laughs> no. Like, like the NFL. That really didn't go well last time we had a game sound. Oh, all right. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Do you want a little red vine? Yeah, I'm good. I don't like licorice in general. I just don't like licorice in general. Red vines are superior, though. Oh, yeah. Like, by far. Oh, nice. I'm going to start coming to more of your tournaments. I might have to move down here. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we're all set. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I'm so happy. I forget what track I was going. I forgot what I was talking about. I want to commentate BGC. Oh, that's all I know. We're miking people. Oh yeah. That, what happened last time you guys mic someone? Well, uh, that really didn't go very well in uh, Canada. Uh, Canadian. Oh nationals. right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, having that audio wasn't really good at all. That's arguable. I mean, there's no regionals there. <laughs> well, oh well. All right. So the players are set up. Um, we'll try and guess about how how uh, long time will take. As soon as they flip over a card, we'll press start on our timer. You guys at home uh, can keep track. Um, I just want to thank the TOs here um, and the judges. They've all been really nice to us. Why are you doing like red vines? I just don't like licorice, dude. It's licorice. Want mm -hmm. some? You don't like it. Everyone's been awesome for us. And there's a handshake. And yeah, I still don't like it. All right. <laughs> That's definitely better than Twizzler, though. Oh, absolutely. 100%. Um, if, you like, if you like Twizzlers better than Red Vines, I'll fight you. That's a, that a hefty Ultra Ball. Not it really. is. But, um, he Nothing gets that important. Yeah, no, no. Uh, Enhanced Hammer is going to be no use to him at all. Why do you think he grabbed a Drift Loot? Beats me. Uh, I'm not sure. The only thing I can see is he's going for the derail one, which has free retreat just to have something. All right, yeah. But that doesn't really seem priority. So I mean, I um, in the in Keon's case, like he doesn't need a whole lot of bench space, so having that um, free retreat, like you said, is a uh, can be nice. Plus, um, just getting those cards out of his deck, real nice to have. Yeah, yeah. Just so you That's don't true. get into him later. <laughs> Sorry, they're just doing VGC announcements. Yeah, VGC announcements. So we're going to try and talk over it a little bit. Um, Chris Dude. Silver is going to Ultra Ball two fires. That's good. That's a really good position. And he, he plays the right tap pick. Yes, he does. He plays um, the adorable ones. The, it's a, the touching ones. Um, I'm really glad there's no Mega Embor. Because then we would have seen a dead family member on that card. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Like, there would have been a grave involved, and it would have been so sad. Oh, yeah. It would have painted such a sad picture for this. It would have, it would have been Dark Mega Embor. Bring back that whole oh, mechanic. Vengeance, bro. Yeah. So the whole mechanic just for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so really, like the important thing about that Tepig is that it has 70 HP as opposed to 60. Which is pretty huge. And it's adorable. It doesn't seem like a lot, but, you know, it works. Yeah, 70 is a big difference. Yeah. Um, For sure. The 70 is, like, laser over yeah. two turns won't kill it yeah. with Verbank. Exactly. Um, I mean, we're back again on Chris's turn. He's got a turn to Embor. On Keon's yeah. turn, he attached, and then he just Emerald flashed. Keon is... Keon was in a bad position just to, in general with this matchup. Uh, this yeah, not right, as soon as he sat at the sat in that seat, he was like, "Is he in a bad spot?" <laughs> as soon as he picked up his deck instead of Chris's, <laughs> he made a huge mistake. That's true. So 
So there goes a the shiny ray. Won't yep. need that here. Um, which actually really helped Chris Silver in the mirror match uh, last round. But yeah, that's really why he's in the finals. Yeah. Um, he I mean, he's, two of them, right? he, he's a good player and all, but <laughs> um, I don't know how many he plays, but um, I did see him use it last round because if, if you are playing the mirror and you have that card, you're going to use it. Um, but he uh, definitely plays two Reshi Rams. So I'm going to guess that probably just one Baby Ray. I don't think he probably expected a lot of uh, Blastoise or Mirror Matches, so um, that's probably something he just threw in just because I'm probably going to need this at some point, and we'll just see what happens. Yeah, I mean, it was a good call, too. Yeah. I mean, um, as far as Chris Silver's deck choice for the day, it was a great metagame call. Um, as you guys can recall, we were hustling really hard just to not get um, Frizz Frizzy on Genesect on stream because the first four rounds, it was that's all it was. <laughs> I think throughout four rounds, we had seen it like f five or six times. <laughs> but um, uh, Chris Silver fell short there. Um, he was only able to get two energy on that uh, Rush Ram, and that's uh, that's big for Keon because now Keon can. Um, set up another Genesect with another Emerald Slash um, and he's going to red signal up Empor and that could be just absolutely huge for him. He's going to get two more Grass Energy and they're going to go to that other Genesect on the bench. Um, that Empor now is, if it gets hit with a uh, Megalo Cannon, it's knocked out. Uh, but, you know, Chris Silver's going to put a stop to that as uh, Hoping, hoping uh, that just switching out will save him, um, and it definitely will help. But uh, I see in Kian Sand that he does have plasma, uh, plasma energy, so he could be able to red signal it again. Uh, Chris Silver is going to really need to get um, another Embor in play. Yeah, for sure. But he does take two prizes with another Outrage. Um, yeah, and there's just such a good attack. <laughs> outrage? Yeah. yeah when you is. can hit Outrage for weakness, it's so good. Oh, yeah. When, uh, like, the Dragon's Ross kind of build was around. Yeah. That was ridiculous. The truth about dragons? Yeah. <laughs> That's my new made-up name for that deck. All right. <laughs> It'll catch on. <laughs> It'll catch on posthumously. <laughs> it's only, like, what, like, two formats ago? <laughs> it's only, like, two whole years ago. Yeah, whatever. We'll catch on. The truth about dragons. Um... Keon here, um, he's going to knock out Empor and place two on that Tepig. Nope. No, he's not. He's going to put two on Rayquaza. Um, and I, I think he's thinking here, um, I sure would like to red signal up that Tepig and uh, not have to worry about sniping it. Just worry about knocking it out with Megalo Cannon. Yeah, for sure. Just get that threat off the board. Not have to worry about it for another and turn. Yeah. Just buys him a turn where he's sure. He's yep. safe, but that's gone. Yep. Nope. <laughs> Chris Silver does get another uh, Tepig in play, and um, he's threatening a blue flare. Man, Chris's list seems so consistent and tight. You never really see Embor take off this quickly and like yeah. set up this consistently. Absolutely. Hey, Keon here is in, in deep doo-doo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is just kind of how we expect it to play out. Right. Just... I mean, uh, Keon here can... Uh, can't take a prize off of this Reshi Ram. Um, and, you know, that's probably what he's going to do. Chris doesn't have any other energy on the board. But he does potentially have uh, an Embor coming. I mean, he only has two prizes left. Uh, Keon Super Rods. And he's going to... That's a tough decision. That that two on Rushram really doesn't help him all that much, but um, maybe he can snipe it again and then make a little cannon it. So apart from the baby rays or whatever, does Chris play anything else interesting? Uh, he does play Electrode. Does he? Uh, yeah, I saw him one play Electrode. I don't know the count, but um, I definitely saw one on the bench when he was uh, playing in the mirror. That's another thing that um, helps his mirror quite a bit. Oh, for sure. Uh, when it's getting late, I mean, the way the mirror works is just like just keep swinging until you can't. Yeah. <laughs> and and in matches like that, it just kind of winds up where you're both really low on prizes, and so when you end, um, it doesn't affect you as much. 
Uh, we do see uh, Voltorb come into play. Um, but uh, Chris Silver looks like he's uh, come down to a little bit. Oh, there's Chorus. That's a game changer. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, but uh, Keon only does have a couple things on the bench, but that's still seven cards. Yeah, he's going to get a lot of cards here. I I would be surprised if he didn't hit it, I think. His, yeah. deck, isn't, his deck isn't that thin anymore. Um, he, he really needs an Embor and a way to respond to this uh, Genesect kind yeah. of immediately. Just Embor, Candy, and Superior. And yeah. Be fine. <laughs> I didn't see any Embor in there. I don't know if you caught one. Yeah, I didn't uh, Didn't catch much. Looked uh, like mostly we were both one. wrong. <laughs> but there's Embor. I do think he has a uh, dousing? Yeah, he's looking through that discard. Um, but yeah, it looks like he does have a dousing. He's got an energy search. Um, gets a fire. Yeah, I mean, that'll help him. Yeah, absolutely. Um, he's got to have a way to get uh, Tepic out of the active. And then there's that Dowsing. Um, thinking about getting rid of uh, Tool Scrapper. Double checking to see if there's something that he's missing. Maybe he needs that switch back for a big play. Yeah, you can kind of see him piecing together how he can make this work. Um. Yeah, maybe it's just not working for him. Yeah, it, um, it, there just might not be a way. Yeah, it yeah. looks like yeah, he's just gonna peach. Hold on to his dowsing for next turn. Yeah, and you know, um, peach is almost never a bad play. <laughs> no, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So uh, Keon's gonna energy switch over to that balloon, and we'll switch like, into it. Yeah, it's kind of in a weird play, and Juniper, I guess. Uh, Buy himself some time. Chris Silver just making sure he doesn't play special energy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, do I play Prism? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Mime. Deciding to beach, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. yeah he's beaching. Happening. So it's mostly most likely just a sacrifice to yeah. the Genesect going down. Uh, and there's the uh, Same with the Mime and the other two Drifloons just dumping crap yeah to he's just got to get, get it, it he's, he's got to get it out of the way um there's superior yeah and there's yeah, a that's pretty it's a pretty big difference uh, uh, grabs four, four fire yeah. yeah makes sense his request has already got lightning on it um, right. He doesn't need to use the damaged one yet, so there's no reason to invest in it. Yeah. Uh, basically, well, yes, he's just gonna want to retreat that Embor or the Tepic, and get the probably just start attacking with that Rush Ram. Yeah, Rush Ram seems like his best option. Yeah. Um, he doesn't need to Dragon Burst or any of that, but he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. <laughs> All right. Might as well, <laughs> I guess. And he attaches for turn, and there's that. Get the Tepic out of the way. And he's going to just Dragon Burst, looks like. Yeah. Maybe he's trying to preserve Rush Ram a bit. Yeah. Um, Electrodes and Burst. It's one of those things, you know, yeah, there's Keon's going to scoop, gonna scoop yeah. yeah. Him being down to one kind of made it so Keon had nothing yeah. he could stall with anymore. Like just There's uh, nothing happen. really he could do there. Um, Chris Silver chose to save that, that Rush Ram. Um, Maybe he's thinking Keon has some way to do that extra 10. Um, to hit that 110 number. That's a pretty good number to hit. Yeah, he could have been looking for lasers or... Right. So, I mean, that's pretty much boost. how uh, we expect the game to go there. And uh, maybe turn the uh, game two will end the same. Maybe maybe it won't. Maybe Keon yeah. can get it going. Yeah, probably uh, will. It looks like uh, Keon had a pretty decent start. Yeah. And um, he kind of knew what he could do to save himself in that matchup. But just the matchup itself is so hard. Yeah, it's especially with Reshiram. Reshiram is ridiculously yeah. good. It's just so overbearingly like a bad matchup that there's not much you can do, but it looks like he has an idea of how to handle it. I and mean, He's certainly going to give it all. Uh, Keon's... He's a fighter. 
He's yeah. got the heart of a lion and a tiger. Yeah. Mixed in one. Yeah. Blended it up and just molded it. All right. And then baked it. Really? Yeah. And just whoop, put it in there. And that functions. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's go back. If you dream it, you can do it. All right, man. <laughs> I would like to bake a tiger and a lion heart and make it a functional heart so I could walk around with it and be a liger all day. Yeah, I mean. Anything's possible? Yeah. <laughs> Anything. Except that, um, I yeah. think. But, yeah, sure. Okay. If, I don't know. If you want to be negative, whatever. Yeah, I think you could puree and bake animal hearts and just make it function in your chest. Why not? Yeah. All right, whatever. I mean, if you want to be a naysayer, you want to be a naysayer. I can't change that. Uh, they're getting ready for game two here. Uh, Chris, Sir, Chris Silver took game one. Uh, Keon, uh, probably going to elect to go first. Want to get that turn one energy attachment. He starts out double Genesect. Um, and Keon's going to discard those balloons. Um, they're just going to be dead cards. A hundred percent. And... Just anytime he has an Ultra Ball and that in his hand, that's going to get discarded. <coughs> and then Juniper. Juniper comes down, seven cards, and a Grass Energy. Yeah, it's good to get that attachment. Yep. I mean, we've said it a million times, but yeah, it's crucial. It's so important that I'm going to say it a million more. Dude, say it again. <gasps> It's crucial to get that first turn attachment. It's crucial to get that first turn attachment. It's crucial to get that first turn attachment. It really is. <laughs> it really is. Um, it's, especially in this matchup. Um, in the mirror, it's really it's way more important. And in a match where you're not supposed to win at all. Yeah. <laughs> you're just. It's not in. It's not in the cards for you. It's, um, you need everything you can get. You absolutely do. You messy little guy. It's red vine all over the place. I, yeah, I know. I'm, just a, I'm a messy eater. There's red vines everywhere. Just little, just little chunks, too. I considered eating them, but I don't know where this tablecloth has been. Here? I don't know. That's bad enough. <laughs> In Long Beach? Yeah. Even worse. So Chris Silver is going to uh, get an energy, get that lightning. Gets he, a good beach. Absolutely. He's a smart man. No eyesore out here today. He, he's a man of... Uh, Class and taste and wealth. Yep. Uh, he could be playing the good Reshiram, but uh, I would like to argue that he is. Dude, the pretty one though. The what? Dude, the pretty one. The pr like the gold one? No, oh, dude. Or the one from the um, shiny collection or whatever. Oh, that one. I don't like that one. You don't like that one? I don't like that one. I don't like the flowers. Dude, it's so lovely. I, I like the one he's playing. The f the black and white full art. Yeah, that one's sweet, but it's really basic. You're basic. All right. That's not <laughs> so true. Keon's going to play N, and uh, he did get that second attachment on the Verizion. Um, Chris Silver also has that Tepig on the bench. Both going to take six. Uh, Keon's got a Genesec party on his bench, and he's going to Emerald Slash. Dude, this one's cool. That one's pretty decent, but still. It's our full art, I think I'd like it. Yeah, that's the, that's the um, Legendary Treasures, the basic Regular. one. Yeah. It's a good one. It's kind of like um, Natui or Zatui. Yeah, that's why I like it. That's why you like it. Yeah, that's entirely why I like it. All right, Chris Silver's going to take his turn. Let's play down another Skyla. And get himself an Ultra Ball. Pretty important. And he's going to discard a fire and a tool scrapper. And let's see, he gets a Reshiram. As one would think he would. Um, it's just too strong in this matchup to not just go right for it. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's, as soon as you get energy in play, it's just like, yeah, I'm going to... That's a cool card. It looks like the that's the Reshiram. Yeah. He attaches the lightning to the Reshiram and then beaches... Um, things are going a little bit slow for him, but I'm sure that's okay. Until this happens, um, Tepig is in trouble. Yeah, Tepig is in trouble. That's not a good thing. And um, Keon's making Chris pay for his hastiness. Dude, get out of there, Tepig. Dude, you have a family. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I mean, uh, Chris was a little bit hasty and got that restroom out. Chris is a um, monster. <laughs> so he's uh, didn't hedge his bets and get that second tepig. Um, but you know it. Yeah, you know, that restroom was just like there. He's licking his chops. I want that restroom and give me that restroom. But um, Keon's gonna knock out the tepig and uh, put 20 more on that uh, Rayquaza. Yep. And that Rayquaza is ready to get knocked out also. Yeah, he is at that lovely little 70 where he can yep. just Megalocan in him. Yep. And uh, the thing here is uh, now that Reshiram's in the active, Keon's got be, got to be careful about how he goes about that. He can't just Megalocan in it. No, if, he can't. If he does, he leaves himself very vulnerable to a very strong outrage. Yeah. It would have the same power as Blue Flare, um, but only require two energy and no discard. Another Reshiram comes into play. If I were Chris Silver, I'd, li I'd really like to see another Tepic come. He's not going to be able to do that. He's just going to have to go ahead and beach. And Keon's going to Ultra Ball. Try and get some rid of that... Uh, dead weight in his in his hand, uh, discarding an enhanced hammer and a chorus machine, and he puts a balloon on the bench. Man, and things and are actually looking okay for Keon. Yeah, it's uh, Keon's just he's keeping it alive. Um, he's taking things slow. Uh, just lucky enough for him that uh, Chris has just had a pretty. Blast start. Yeah, I mean, the fact that it's such an auto loss for Keon still makes it fragile. But yeah, absolutely. Is that any moment like um, I was saying in the round one, this um, this deck is built to explode. Um, at any at any moment, Chris Silver could just get the Embor and rip off like eight energies and just really go off. Oh, and we see a G booster from Keon taking care of that Reshiram. I did not think about that. That is one thing he can do. He can G booster Reshiram. And Chris puts another one in the active. Um, he does have a Juniper there. Um, he's going to attach for turn. And really think about it. And he's going to Chorus. He'll Chorus for seven cards. Um, that He's really open for the, to get that Embor in play. Um, it just has been eluding him all game. Um, to, I'm sure, Keon's happiness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, bro. Huh? What? The guy just walked over here and he's like, Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Is not why you're here. <laughs> uh, it's so show food, dude. Why didn't you say hi? I don't know. It's, don't think it was him. <laughs> uh, so he tool scrapes that G booster and um, beaches. Now Keon's gonna play that Shadow Triad. He's gonna get himself a. Uh, Plasma Energy, um, and play it in Retreat. No, he played Float Zone now. Oh, he did. Yeah, you're right. Now he's playing it. Just so he can get that Emerald Slash off. Yeah. Just pretty important. Now that uh, Reshiram, you can go ahead and Megalo Cannon it for a knockout. That's what's so... Oh, there's Rare Candy Embor. But that's what's really awesome about um, Shadow Triad in this format, is it can get you so many things... <laughs> Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, it's it's really turned into from like a a supporter that's just been completely lackluster to something that's really important and key to a lot of decks. And blue flare from Reshiram. Keon's going to go ahead and Skyla. Um, Got to think he's going to get an energy on that bench uh, Genesect, and he does. 
I mean, he's he's really going well in this game. Um, he's really got a shot. Uh, but with that Embor in play, um, you just really never know how long it's really going to last. No. Keon's going to super rod. Um, three energy into his deck. Yeah. The classic that. That's three the classic Verizion Genesec move. It's my favorite play. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Um, he's going to knock out that Reshiram, put 20 on Rayquaza. The thing here is um, there's a lightning attachment. Getting three fire is not hard, and Chris Silver is going to probably get four for himself after discarding a Baby Ray and a Beach. And getting that energy, yeah. And Keon just scoops. His, um, yeah, that's just game. Yeah, I mean... Um, it would have wiped his energy completely clean off the board. I'm going to go see if Chris will come to ch chat. Yeah, sure. So, I mean, that's that's one of those things where you got to you gotta go hard until you can't. And um, when something like that happens where it's just not worth playing for Keon, uh, he knows he's not going to take it home. But... Um, He's most certainly put up a good fight and a good match, and um, Keon really played great. Um, he really gave it us all in that match. 